Um, life is difficult. It's just hard. For you, for me, for everyone. Some of it's harder than others. Some of it harder than we think it is. Some of it, we make it harder than it really is. Artwork to me is the expression of a human existence, anyone's human existence, whether you're good at art, bad at art, whatever that even means. Um, it's the expression that you exist, that this little thing that you're closed inside of all by yourself um, existed and mattered. I think often that's why I make quite as much as I do is I am terrified of the day I no longer exist. And I want to make sure that I, I leave enough clues. And one of those things with leaving clues is not to leave the clue that I just could draw or write a song or something. It was to, to make my existence known. And for me, that often involved showing the truth, facing the truth, facing pain. My life was pain from the get-go. And the way I learned how to survive it was not to be angry. I mean, I, I got that way at times, but ultimately it was to believe in love, to believe in hope, to believe in dreams, to believe that anything is possible, and to not be afraid to talk about it or show its truth. After everything that happened this last week, few months, everything with the nation, I noticed that a lot of what problem is, is we don't like just facing the truth. We don't like saying we're sorry. We don't like saying we're wrong. And we shame each other to such a degree that that fear has driven us to the point that we are all at. So I keep looking over to the side here because I have a few paintings that I wanted to share as to what they are, what they mean, and why. And why they look maybe even the way they do. Um, this one. It looks like a little boy sitting on a chair, getting a vase smashed across his face because that's exactly what it is. When I was a little boy, one of the strongest memories in my head, even with the brain injury, I didn't get rid of this one, um, was my mom received beatings from my dad almost nightly. And on one of those nights, it was maybe three, I jumped in front of it. I said, no. And this vase slammed across my face. And it didn't really hurt me that much. If I remember, I just had a little cut. But I remember the room stopped. Something and my dad woke up for just a brief moment. And when I got my brain injury, all those memories came flooding back harsh. And so I did it, but I did it in Technicolor. Because no matter what, I'm technicolor, no matter how dark it gets. This one is not about me. This one is about somebody else. It's by me, but it's about somebody else. When I first got brain injured and had started a group on Facebook, I met a lot of really uh, interesting people with brain injuries, with amazing stories. And I met this one woman with children and she was a soldier a, a very dedicated veteran and she had a brain injury and it it was eating her alive and she had told me once a dream she had and i painted this and i showed her and she left it but and i still hope to get it to her she's in texas one day And then this one is 
no. And it means, no, you will not do this to me ever again. I made this for myself. Obviously. But one of the things about this no shame, self-reflection, taking it all in things, is I realized the, the pain I felt, that no, no, they will not do this to me ever again. I also had to use that against myself and realize that, yeah, had people hurt me in my life? Definitely. Hands down, no questions asked. People had hurt me in my life. And because of that, because of that, I let that pain overwhelm me. And then I became a person that hurt others. Often the people I love the most. And we use that excuse. We use that as the reasoning for saying it's okay to do wrong. It's okay to elect a president that openly damn near rapes people. So, with that, you have to be willing to throw that those same spears at yourself. And... I choose to paint them. The last one, I don't have it out, but it's up there. It's the female looking down with the flowers. That is my, um, was my wife. And right before I got hurt, and it's a lot of what led to when I got hurt and why, and the timing, everything just sucked. But her father had passed away suddenly. And then we lost a baby that we were really excited about. And we lost her on the drive to the funeral. That fucks you up. <laughs> it fucks you up. And you get a brain injury, it fucks you up. And so I've been going through a lot of hard looking stuff and traumatic looking stuff. Scary paintings that are hard for people to look at sometimes. Scary songs that are, I didn't know because I'm so open, but apparently very hard to listen to for some people. And so I've, I've learned that I, I, I must bring myself in to bring the most out of others. And then eventually the most out of myself and stop staring into space like there's something over there that, that's going to help me out. It's all here. But I do art because it's my right as a human being. And that's the one thing nothing and ever take from me until the moment I'm dead. No one, no person, no entity, no power is like the power of you inside yourself. No violation of the outside, no, no shaming of it, no desecration of it, nothing will be able And I have a brain injury. I have something that is a physical manifestation of being taken from this last place of refuge that we all have. But I wasn't taken. I didn't die. It was a crazy maze. It was a crazy prison. It was a labyrinth of pain and terrors. But you know what? There's children halfway across the world that deal with that every single day. I'm just one of the children, one of 7.5 billion. Art is the one thing we have in common. Creativity, the, the desire to express ourselves and let our existence be known. And we've now grown accustomed to a society that both celebrates that for a select few and then completely shames everyone else. And it's sad because 
that's going to lead to the end. Love yourself. Love yourself so much that you can look at yourself in the mirror and with no fear, no trepidation, no shame, say, I love you. You can be and say anything you want to. And if you want to put it out because it's scary, because your truth is scary, don't be afraid. Whatever your truth is, however black and dark and ugly and everything you think it is, the most beautiful thing you can do is release it. So that it's not on you anymore. And if others aren't able to appreciate that, it means they got some dirt they got to take off themselves. So I make paint out of my dirt. I sing songs out of my dirt. That's why I do what I do. I do it for me. Ultimately, I do it for you, whoever you is that is looking. Because I love all of you. So, that's what our art is, and I guess that's what this video is.